The Directorate General of Forces Intelligence, Bengali, Samarika Goyanda Mahaparadaptara commonly known as DGFI is the military intelligence section of the Bangladesh Armed Forces, tasked with collection, collation, and evaluation of strategic and topographic information, primarily through human intelligence humant. As one of the principal members of the Bangladeshi intelligence community, the DGFI reports to the Director General and is primarily focused on providing intelligence for the President, the Cabinet of Bangladesh, and the Armed Forces of Bangladesh. Formed in 1972 as a section of the Bangladesh Armed Forces, specializing in foreign military intelligence, the section experienced dramatic growth following reorganization in 1977, under then President, and former Chief of Army Staff, Zior Rahman. The agency officially adopted its current name in the same year. The DGFI consists primarily of military officers from the three service branches of the Bangladesh Armed Forces Army, Navy and Air Force. The stated priority mission of the DGFI is to provide timely, and accurate intelligence, and tactical support to Bangladesh Armed Forces commands. Many political analysts consider the DGFI as one of most influential institutions in Bangladesh. The DGFI has increasingly expanded its role throughout the years, including foreign intelligence gathering, counter intelligence, covert operations, counter proliferation, cyber intelligence, and anti terrorism. The agency's elite counterterrorism unit formed in 2006, CTIB, is responsible for gathering intelligence, and handling terrorist organizations that may pose a threat to national security. Purpose To collect, collate, evaluate and disseminate all services strategical and topographical intelligence about law and order situations and the armed forces. To ensure counterintelligence and security measures for Bangladesh government and Bangladesh armed forces. According to its fiscal 2014 budget, the DGFI's top priorities are Counter-terrorism Counterintelligence Apprise Bangladesh government with important overseas events. Apprise Bangladesh government about any activities that threaten national security. Cyber intelligence, collecting information and monitoring cyber threats to national security of Bangladesh. Military intelligence, provide Bangladesh armed forces with foreign intelligence on other nations' armed forces. Joint Intelligence, works with Special Branch of Bangladesh Police and Rapid Action Battalion to gather detective and criminal intelligence. Air Intelligence, gather intelligence on air forces around the world. Naval Intelligence, gather intelligence on the advancements in other nations' navies and maritime intelligence. Public Relations Monitoring, monitoring mainstream media and social media. Providing security clearance to civil, military personnel and individuals. History The DFI was founded by then President Major General Zior Rahman. Following 1977 Bangladesh Air Force mutiny and Japan Airlines Flight 472 incident, Aminul Islam Khan, the director of the agency was immediately dismissed from the position, and Air Force Wing Commander Mohammad Hamidullah Khan, as ZMLA, was appointed director of the Martial Law Communication and Control Center MLCC. DFI headquarters was removed from Bailey Road and a new headquarters was established inside Dhaka Cantonment. The reorganization was initiated the same year, with officer selection more scrutinized, facilities improved, and the agency was rechristened as Directorate General of Forces Intelligence 
The agency was moved from Ministry of Defense to direct control of the Office of the President, which led to a massive modification in the organizational structure of the agency, and the agency was upgraded and transformed from a defensive to an offensive intelligence unit. In 1977, DGFI was upgraded into a strong counterintelligence division. According to analysts, the structure of DGFI closely resembles that of the Inter-Services Intelligence. In 1978, the Defense Attaché assignment was inducted. In 1994, DGFI's organizational structure was reformed, and since then DGFI has transformed into the primary intelligence agency in Bangladesh, alongside National Security Intelligence. The recruitment of DGFI staff is undertaken by the armed forces and the Director General is appointed by the Prime Minister with recommendations from the Chief of Armed Forces. The DGFI was structured to be manned by officers from the three main military services, to specialize in the collection, analysis and assessment of military intelligence. Over the years, DGFI's role has transformed to both military and non-military intelligence gathering and the agency is active in more than 45 countries worldwide. In 2006, DGFI headquarters was permanently relocated to a 14-story tower near the Rajanagantha area inside the Dhaka cantonment. Current DGFI Director General, Major General Mohammad Saiful Abedin who is the 25th Director General of the agency, will be taking over his assignment on 17 February 2017 succeeding Major General Mohammad Akbar Hossein, 10. In May 2014 Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina unveiled the new monogram of DGFI in an event in its headquarter. The lotus placed on the center of the monogram, the national flower lotus expressing the ethnicity of independent sovereign Bangladesh. The eight light emission around the lotus expressing patriotism, loyalty, discipline, concentration, alertness, prudence, and efficiency of the activities of the agency. At the bottom, Bangladesh, besides it, there are two stars at each side and a total of four stars representing the four fundamental principles of the Constitution of Bangladesh nationalism, secularism, socialism, and democracy. Topic: Notable Director Generals. Topic: Organizational Structure. Eight bureau and nineteen detachments make up the primary structure of the organization. The total manpower for DGFI is estimated to be around twelve thousand. The commanding post for DGFI is the DG followed by the DDG, Director, Senior Additional Director, Additional Director, Deputy Director and Assistant Director. Counterterrorism Unit Counter-Terrorism and Intelligence Bureau CTIB, is an elite counter-terrorism intelligence unit of DGFI. The Bureau was established in 2006 from the Counter-Terrorism Wing of DGFI which was established in 2002. The Bureau was established along with the Rapid Action Battalion RAB, and the Counter-Terrorism Cell of National Security Intelligence NSI. CTIB is responsible for collecting and analyzing intelligence on internal threats and counterattacks. The unit is directed by Brigadier General S. M. Meteor Rahman. CTIB agents are recruited from the armed forces and are responsible for gathering intelligence and executing special operations. Topic functions The DGFI and its activities are highly classified and confidential to both the mass media and civilians. The functions and priorities of DGFI have changed throughout the years and vary with the country's political situations and foreign affairs. 
The primary function of the DGFI is the collection of foreign military intelligence, however during recent times, the agency has extended its role to economic, political and foreign intelligence. DGFI maintains active collaborations with very few other secret services around the world. It maintains a close relation and shares intelligence with the India's RAW and New Zealand's GCSB. Military experts have termed the subcontinent as a beehive of intelligence and counterintelligence activity and labeled the DGFI, ISI, CIA, FSB, R and AW, MSS, Mossad, and MI6 as the big players in the Asian intelligence scene. Controversies Blocking advertising on Protom Allo and the Daily Star In 2015, DGFI was accused of blocking major companies from advertising in two major newspapers in Bangladesh, the Daily Protom Allo and the Daily Star, causing a loss of $2 million during the first month. Telenor, which owns a 55% stake in Graminephone admitted that top-level officers from DGFI forced them to stop advertising in these two newspapers. However, other large corporations refused to comment on the issue. We were informed by our clients that due to unavoidable circumstances, we should stop all advertisements in Protom Allo and the Daily Star. Alam said, We initially continued to advertise in the magazine supplements, but that was also stopped. Notable cases of espionage DGFI, like any other intelligence agency, collects information through human espionage. They have conducted numerous operations over the course of decades. <laughs> Spying for DGFI Dewan Chand Malik, a Bangladeshi DGFI agent concealed his nationality and joined RA where he was known as Dewan Chand Malik. He was known to have obtained important intelligence which was damaging for India's national security. He joined the agency in 1999 and used to live in East Delhi. A case of cheating and forgery was filed against him at the Lodi Colony Police Station on the basis of a complaint by a senior RAW official. No trace of him was found afterwards. See also 10 Truck Arms and Ammunition Hall in Chittagong National Committee for Intelligence Coordination National Security Intelligence <laughs>